This Christian apologist was having a civilized debate until she arrived. As to understand meaning and purpose in life. But if there is no God, please. Life is meaningless, sir. She can do whatever she wants to. That's her worldview. So she can do whatever she wants to. Actually, I'm not allowed to say my worldview because Man, it's you can not speak that I don't believe you want that to. your God's right, but I don't believe in the Bible. Why is woman Guess valuable? What? Why is woman valuable? I don't really know, according to you. You're spreading hate and saying that your chosen people who believe in your Bible are correct. That's and not that what I've said at all. Correct. Yes, you're trying to be a Dad, flat, flat out to this man, I said, if I say I believe in Jesus and hate him, what am I? You're and this a guy, hypocrite, and thank you, you are a hypocrite, exactly. and that's why you're up so here, and that's what you're saying, and it's just annoying. I'm so sick of seeing this on campus. Can't you go film your little project somewhere else? Look, like, is... I am so tired of just having to walk around on my campus and get preached at about the Bible. I'm so tired of having non-stop conversations about what the Bible says. Like, go somewhere else. I don't want to go away. I want this to go away. Guess what I believe? I believe that I am God. I am God. I am my own God. What does that mean, you're God? It means that I create my own reality and I manifest what I want to see in this world. Go create your own reality somewhere else. We're trying to have a discussion. Yeah, I am creating my own reality right here. I'm saying your discussion is stupid. And it shouldn't go on. Look, it's pointless. We, we it's disagree with each other, so we're respecting and disagreeing. Look, there's a difference between what you're doing and what we're doing. What you're doing is you're, you're disrespecting both of us, just talking over us. You literally yeah. said you're God. And yeah. what you're trying to do is have an intelligent discussion. We disagree, fundamentally. You're having but an intelligent we discussion we... by misquoting people. It's annoying, and I'm making a mockery of you because that's what it deserves I'm to be I'm sorry we're you. annoying you, but there's a real virtue in being intellectually honest and trying to air your opinions out and learn the weaknesses of your views and the strengths of other views. That's why I... Even if I disagree with this man, I respect him. I'm glad he comes here. I don't want him coming in here anymore. I want him to be. No one would believe an atheist would do this to Ray Comfort if it wasn't recorded on tape. I mean, I won't shake your hand. No, no, I didn't. I'm not going to shake your hand. You are disgusting. Because you can't you answer me. You can't answer me. That's why you're running away. Because you cannot answer enemy. me, can you? I care about you and I care about where you spend eternity. And don't run off. And don't go running off just because you can't answer someone. You don't it's not. No, you said something so disgusting. All right. What did I it's, say was disgusting? It's 2014. All right? If you can't keep your body mouth clean, we have to get someone else up. Okay. Okay, nice to talk to you. Yeah. Yeah, oh, oh. Speaking of atheists, this one certainly messed with the wrong street preacher. I missed the gentleman's question, yeah? The gentleman's question is how did a good God manage to create the devil? The answer is he created him as an angel with choice, and that choice Lucifer he made to rebel against God. Thank you very much. How, how can God create something? that can change its mind. Did God make a mistake then? The gentleman's question is, how can God create something that can change his mind? God can change his mind. He changed his mind. And Abraham said, if there's 30, will you wipe them out? Is there's 20, if there's 10, and he kept whittling it down, and he changed his mind. So the answer is, he can change his mind. Can you please ask me a difficult question? I'm going to leave that aside. I'm going to leave that aside. I'm going to leave that aside. I'm going to, I'm going to leave. Easy ones. Give me a difficult one. That's right. You're not going to wriggle out of this business of the devil, right? Okay. So you're saying. Devil and I said he made him pure so and the devil him. fell. Why is that a wriggle out? Yeah. Hey, hey, come on, ask me. Right. So, Sign sealed and delivered. Sorry, sorry. Will you please be quiet? Right. Okay. <laughs> but surely, surely God knows everything. He knew the future. So therefore he knew that he was going to change his mind. He knew that he was going to end up creating the devil. So you don't wriggle out of it. Your God created the devil and your God is therefore partly evil. Ladies and gentlemen, that is wrong. Listen to this. Somebody says to me, I'm having a little baby. And I say that's great news. The baby born was okay. But he came into this world and did a terrible thing. Same with the devil. And I'll tell you how powerful he is. He's got that man in the corner. 
Oh, I thought you were with them. He's got no hope. And I'll show you why he's got no hope, sir. You've asked me two questions. Here's a question to you. Go and wriggle out. You are the wriggler. I've seen you on Batman. You are the wriggler. You are the wriggler. You are the wriggler. You're from Gotham City. Ray Wriggler. He's wriggling. Isn't he wriggling out my question? Here's my question. Here's my question. Give some hope to dying men. Give some hope to dying men. What have you got? I'm a dying man. Give me some hope. Listen to the wriggler. Off you go. Hey. I'm not wriggling. I am. You're the wriggler. You worship the God that is both good and evil. Unless, unless he created evil and he made a mistake. Yeah. And I think God loves this world. He loves you. And he died on a cross. If you want free dancing lessons, the wriggler over there. Hey. Thank goodness I'm not going to have to spend eternity with you. Bye, wriggler. Thank you, the wriggler. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm not a wriggler. I'm not a wriggler. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, so over to you. What more evidence do you need that Christ Jesus is real and he has an enemy who is trying to stop souls from hearing the truth?